Finally, we're going to be taking everything that we've learned about exponents and logarithmic functions and we're going to be solving exponential and logarithmic equations. An exponential equation is any time we have our variable x up here in the exponent. Now, one of the types of exponential equations that we will encounter are the types that we can rewrite the bases so that they are the same number and then we'll just set the exponents equal to each other. So in this case, 16 and 8 can both be written as a base of 2, so 16 is 2 to the 4th power, and 8 is 2 to the 3rd power. Now this 4 and this 3x will go ahead and multiply together, so we get 2 to the 12x power equals 2 to the 3rd. Now that our bases are exactly the same, we can set the exponents equal, and then we can solve for x. And reducing, we get 1 fourth. So x is equal to 1 fourth. And of course, you want to go ahead and plug that back into the original equation and make sure that it works. Now, of course, you will encounter problems where you cannot write the base as the same number. When this happens, we're going to apply this property here that says anytime m and n are positive values that are separated by an equal sign, so they're equal. I'm allowed to just take the log of each side. Now taking the log of each side sounds a little weird, right? So I'm going to show you why we are allowed to do that. So let's say I have the problem 2 to the x equals 27. Well, I can obviously not rewrite 27 with a base of 2. So switching to logarithmic form, I get log base 2 of 27 equals x. Using my change of base formula, I can rewrite the left-hand side to be log of 27 divided by log of 2 and then I can evaluate this in my calculator. Now let's say in the beginning of the problem I just went ahead and took the log of both sides. Well now I can apply all my logarithmic properties one of which is that I can take the exponent and hop them to the front. So now this will be x times the log of 2 equals the log of 27 and then isolating the x I get this for the value of x which as you can see is the exact same thing that we got before so taking the log of each side is just a shortcut way of pretty much switching to logarithmic form using change of base all in one so we are allowed to just take the log of each side as long as my exponential term here is completely isolated. So now let's try it out. I have 15 to the 3x equals 285. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your exponential term is completely isolated, which it is in this case. But if there was anything added or subtracted, you want to bring it over. Now we're just going to go ahead and take the log of each side. Because of our logarithmic properties, we can now get that x out of the exponent by bringing it to the front. So this guy is going to hop down. And now we're just going to solve for x. Now I want you to understand log of 15, log of 285, just a number, right? Well, so is 3. So I'm going to divide this whole thing by everything that's in my way, which is the 3 as well as the log of 15. So I'm just doing it all in one step. So x is equal to this. So we go ahead, you grab your calculator. We want to do log of 285 divided by 3 times log of 15, rounding to the nearest 10,000th. This is going to be 0.6958. And you can go ahead and plug that in and make sure it works. So a logarithmic equation is any time our variable x is trapped inside of the log. Now in order to get it outside of the logarithm, we're going to use exponential form. Now if you have multiple logarithmic expressions, you'd want to condense it down into one expression before you try to switch to exponential form. So here, since I only have one log expression, we're going to switch to exponential form. Remember the base here is 10. So this is going to be 10 to the second power equals 4x minus 3. Simplifying that, 
we just go ahead and solve for x. Solving for x, we're going to get 25.75. And you can go ahead and plug that in and check to see if it works. Now we are going to treat this just like we did the last logarithmic equation, except for now, since it's natural log, my base is e. So since I only have one logarithmic expression, I just switch to exponent form. So the base here is e. So this would be e to the fourth equals x minus 3 quantity squared. Now we are going to solve for x by taking the square root of each side. Now the square root, this is a little side note, e to the fourth is the same thing as saying e squared squared. So e to the fourth is a perfect square. And e to the second power is going to hop out. So I can rewrite this as e squared squared. Now remember, anything to the second power will come out of the radical. So by taking the square root, this guy hops out, this guy hops out. So I'm going to get e to the second equals x minus 3. Adding 3 to both sides, x is going to be equal to e to the second plus 3. Now we pick up our calculator and we want to evaluate what that is. And to the nearest 10,000, we're going to get 10.3891. And you can go ahead and plug that in and check it. So now we're going to solve this exponential equation. And as you can see, I'm dealing with e here as my base. Now all that means is when I take the log of each side, I am just going to take the ln of each side instead of the log. So first thing we need to do is isolate the exponential term. Now it needs to be completely alone, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this 4 also. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and take the ln of each side. So, taking the ln of the left hand side will allow me to bring this 2x out of the exponent. And then I'll have the ln of 7 halves on the right hand side. Now, over here on the left, ln of e, well ln of e is just 1. So this is just 2x equals ln of 7 over 2. So now I'm just going to divide each side by 2. So in your calculator, you want to do ln of 7 divided by 2. Close your parenthesis or hit enter. Take that value and divide by 2. So rounding to the nearest 10,000th, we get 0.6264. I want you to go ahead and give these a try and I'll give you a few hints. Number one, you can write as the same base. Number two, just take the log of each side. Number three, condense down into one logarithmic expression and then switch to exponential form. Number four, isolate the exponential term and then take the ln of each side. Number five, condense down and then switch to exponential form, remembering that your base is e this time.